Hey everyone, I hope this video finds you well and enjoying your day. If you are new here, I'm Christopher and welcome, welcome, welcome. I am so excited to have you. If you like lifestyle, luxury, skincare, product reviews, planning and organization, stop and look no further, my friends, because this place is for you. So go ahead and click that little red subscribe button. And if you are going to follow me here on YouTube, you might as well hop on over to my Instagram because we have an awesome community building quite quickly over there as well. And I post daily and respond to you and it's just a great way to catch up and I would love to connect with you over there as well. I'll make sure to leave my handle right here on the screen. Before we jump into this week's bullet journal setup, which by the way, I think is my favorite one. I had so much fun with it and I'm so excited to share with you. But before we do that, I just wanted to take a time to just thank you. I am overwhelmed by how quickly this community has grown in just a few months and I am humbled and honored that you would even want to spend your time watching a video. So I just want to thank you from the people posting and sharing the channel on their blogs to sharing it over on Instagram through strands of email and on Facebook groups. Keep doing it. That's how we grow this community and this community is pretty special if I do say so myself. I read through the comments and there's nothing but positivity, uplifting messages, sharing of quotes, and just it's just awesome because you are awesome. So keep doing what you're doing, I'll keep doing what I'm doing, and we will grow and spread kindness to many, many others. Also, before we jump into this week's spread, I wanna share with you what is upcoming on the channel. My friends, I have purchased several planners that are either getting a lot of buzz or ones you may not have heard of over the last couple weeks. I'm still waiting for two more to get delivered and then I'm going to do a full review of a bunch of planners that are out on the market now because I know one reason I watch YouTube planning videos is to see what's out there and to get honest reviews on them. So you can expect a full planner haul review video coming up very soon, as soon as the last two are delivered. But I wanted you to know that is upcoming so definitely make sure you're subscribed so you do not miss it. So let's go ahead and dive into this week's spread. And the quote was actually inspired by one of you. So many of you have been sharing quotes over on Instagram and tagging me over there. And I have been so inspired by so many quotes that have made their way into my journal. But Lori messaged me and shared a quote from one of my favorite childhood movies, Mary Poppins. And I had just completely forgot about it. And it was, in every job that must be done, there is an element of fun. I think this is such a great life quote, and I can't wait to show you how I use this quote from Lori to inspire my weekly spread. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, my friends, let's go ahead and dive into this Mary Poppins themed week. So like I said in the intro, I am using the quote, in every job that must be done, there is an element of fun. And then I created this little Mary Poppins silhouette of her flying through the sky with her umbrella and carpet bag. And then I had to, of course, play with this idea of a teaspoon of sugar. So I stuck with my normal format. I have my weather box, my to-do list, and my hydrate cup. And then I also did the spoon elongated it along the whole edge. And that is where I put my times from 5 a.m. till 9 p.m. So this is just a great, great way for me to keep track of everything that I need to get done during the week. And I just like to stamp everything hourly, leaving one space in between for the half hour. So that is Mondays, but let's go ahead and see what happened the rest of the week. Now, at first I thought I was going to keep this spoon idea the whole way through, but I decided to switch it up. So for this day, I put it on the right hand side and simply used the spoonful of sugar quote along the edge, keeping my weather box, my to-do box, and my hydrate, and then just stamping my times once again, 5 a.m. till 9 p.m. on the left hand side. But then I decided to nix the spoon idea and really be inspired by the film. So on the next spread for Wednesday, I used her umbrella. Same concept, my weather box, my hydrate cup, my to-do list, and then I split my time five to five and then six to nine on this right hand side of the umbrella. On Thursday, 
I decided to play with the floating umbrella and some clouds and I did the same thing adjusting my times based on how the graphics worked out to do list hydrate and the weather on Friday I decided to play with Mary Poppins hat which always had those beautiful flowers in it have my times once again the same process now the next page is my favorite because my favorite moment in that entire movie is the chim chimmery scene so i played with the idea of the chimney sweep so here is his chimney sweeper and then i used my tombow pen to make these smudges of coal around the paper but once again i have my timestamps, my weather box my to do and my hydrate and then lastly who can remember the scene with the dancing penguins so i used the silhouette of a penguin adjust my times along the edge and once again the same concept on the right hand side and then lastly gang you know I always use my people boxes and this week I'm meeting with less people so I had a little bit more room to play with so I use these people boxes for everyone I meet with throughout the week so every person gets a box some people's boxes are bigger than others because I have more things to tell them that doesn't mean I love them any less but it's a place to jot down all the things I need to tell that person when I meet with them. I also keep this open when I'm meeting with other people because so many times their meeting makes me have to tell someone else something so I always know that I'll never forget. And lastly, because I had some extra negative space, I went ahead and added one extra quote, anything can happen if you let it. And that is by Mary Poppins. I am so happy with how this week turned out. I honestly cannot wait for the week to begin so that I can start using it. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. So that's this week's spread, my friends. I hope you enjoyed it. If you decide to steal this direct idea or start using quotes to inspire your weekly layouts, please make sure you tag me over on Instagram. Once again, I'll leave my handle one more time on the screen. I would love to see what you're doing and also gain inspiration from you. Remember, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe and I will leave this video like I leave all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free, my friends. Give it to everyone. Until next time, bye-bye.